we're going to look at calculating percentages of a whole. If we're asked a question like, what is 40% of 350? We're being asked to consider the whole, um, which in this case is 350, and figure out what 40% of it is. 40% of 350, to calculate it, we know 40% is just 40 over 100, and so we need to multiply that by 350. We know how to multiply fractions, just multiply the tops together, multiply the bottom, and so you'll have 40 times 350 over 100. You could just do the multiplication at this stage, but as we know, it's always easier for us if we do some of the um, simplifying at this stage. And we can easily see we can uh, divide top and bottom by 10. And in fact, we can divide top and bottom by 10 again. And so we just have 1 at the bottom, 4 times 35 at the top. And so we get our answer of 140. So the answer to our question is 40% of 350 is 150 rand. 140 rand. If we have a question like this one, which is actually going to be working backwards, let's just read it. Joe borrowed some money from me. He has now paid me back 60 Rand. This is just 20% of what he borrowed from me. How much did he borrow from me? Let's summarize the story here. What we're being told is 20% of this amount that Joe borrowed from me is 60 Rand. And we want to know the total amount. We want to know 100% of the amount that he borrowed from me. So this is going in the other direction. We know 20% of the amount and we want to get to 100% of the amount. So that's where we want to get to, 100% of the amount. At the moment, we know about 20%. So how do we get from 20% to 100%? Well, we know that 100 divided by 20 is 5. So we know that there are going to be 5 lots of 20% in 100. So to get from 20% to 100%, we've got to multiply by 5. But we have also know that in this case, we've been told that the 20% is 60 Rand. So 20% is 60 Rand. So what will 100 say? percent be in terms of rands? Well, we've got to just take that 60 and also multiply it by 5 and then we'll get our answer of 300. And so we know Joe borrowed 300 from me.